Hey, what's going on guys? Hex Competitive back again today with a brand new video. And today we're going to be talking about the summer anime that you must watch in the next week here. So looking at what's actually going to be coming out this summer and what I'm already, you know, caught up on, the first thing is going to be Snafu. Snafu is a show that shows you what life really is for what it is in a lot of ways. You know, it's a, it's a show that really shows you human behavior, sociology, psychology, a bunch of different things. You know, you could say the show... In and of itself, it's even a mind game. Snafu is a show that would be listed as, I guess, slice of life and school, of course. But it's not necessarily a harem genre, even though it really centralizes it around three girls and one main character that is a male. So you'll see other characters, you know, vary throughout the show. And you'll notice that a lot of these characters are super deep. And yeah, the first few episodes of season one may slightly kind of drag on after you get that great, you know, kind of ideology from Hiki. And then you actually see why he is who he is and the thing that actually makes him from the past who he is it's a show that you can relate to it's, it's a show that has characters that you can connect to it's one of my top five favorite shows of all time and there's two seasons out season three is coming i highly 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 recommend you guys actually catch up on that series it's fantastic see what season two did and how it just kind of you know took that prologue in a sense and or i guess that intro to the main narrative and just made it its own <sighs> was it was, I didn't even expect it. <laughs> you know, Snafu Season 1, B grade, B plus grade. <sighs> Snafu Season 2, S tier. So, the next show, actually, that we're going to be talking about is another show that I could ramble on about probably for days. And that is my pride and joy, my number one favorite anime of all time, ReZero. ReZero is a show that came out back in, what, 2016 spring. It's a show that came out of nowhere. It's a show that had a 40-minute airing episode one that you just simply wouldn't expect from a show. That takes some big cojones to put that out there and say, hey, we're so confident in this show, Studio White Fox, we're going to make a 40-minute episode one. We're going to run more than, you know, basically two two episodes at one time, essentially is what we're going to do here, because we know the show has something. show that came out of nowhere. It's a show that has a lot of darkness, but it's not edgy for the sake of being edgy. It's about building a character. It's about even, you know, doing things to a certain character that is Subaru, repeatedly even in a sense, but always finding a new element, adding a new element to, you know, never let it be repetitive and Episode 5 or 6 won't say which one, and you may even be confused once you see the episodes and think I'm talking about 5, or you may think I'm talking about 6. But around that time, you see a turning point, and the series really, you recognize what the series is doing with with its little theme it has. I can't say it because it'll spoil it for you. But in terms of this show, some of the best Japanese voice acting, if not the best Japanese voice acting, you know, voice acting I've personally ever seen. Absolutely phenomenal show. It's a must watch in my opinion. Absolutely. And this show takes you for a ride. Episode one, it's the prologue. Season two, I'll see you here in the next week and a half. And I'm ready to jump into that main narrative. It's a show that you guys must watch for art. It's beautiful. Animation is beautiful. And it'll be you will see one of the best written characters in anime history. That is Subaru Nagasuki. So Next would actually be a show that I haven't watched enough of yet, but I was even thinking, thinking about doing a first impression, but I need to grind the rest of the episodes out, but I am already in the process and started catching up to the series, but that's Fire Force, man. You know, it's I haven't had many shows, if any, in the first minute to two minutes show me just stupid stupid level animation just absolutely positively ignorant level kind of animation and i just didn't expect that and the show continues to showcase that animation throughout the show and it's i just can't get over it i just can't get over how good the flames look in the show how good you know the coloring it within the flames even and the movement of the flames and the people Look, you know, wow. But yeah, this show is basically about a world that's been taken over by what seems to be a fire creature. But it's not exactly that. There's more to it, more stuff going on behind the scenes. And it's about a main character who wants to be a hero and redeem his self-image that was, you know, kind of given to him as a child. And that's something that I'm super excited to, you know, venture through. So, and next I want to say, you know, you guys are allowed to hit me. But it's a show that's really good. It has great art. It has great animation. I've met a few of the characters so far. I like the the chief, the team captain. I like the, I guess, co-captain of the team. The show has really demonstrated to me just a lot of different varying things. So, yeah. But other than that, though, there's also one show that you must watch during summer season. At least give it a try for the first three episodes. I think that is another Manoir, a cousin, a brother, whatever you want to you know, say it is to 
Tower of God, is coming out. And this show is predicted to be, you know, potentially even better. And the animation I've seen in the trailers of that show is, I mean, if that's what we're going to get throughout the series, this show's animation is going to be, it's going to be hard to say its level of animation is second to any if the show really demonstrates consistently what it is in the trailer. Is that just a single fight of animation is, dem you know, demonstrating? But yeah, type in God of, God of High School trailer you'll find the series you'll see the trailer can't say as much on that one as much as i would like of course because i haven't seen it haven't read it coming in blind but other than that those are my seasons you know sort of, besides sort of online i know sao is doing some great things but outside of that i would check out these are the shows you must watch these are the shows i can vouch for and got high school is a show that i can only base off the trailer but from what i'm seeing it's looking damn well good and special so if another man wall does that Wow, man, walls have already arrived, but it's going to be a statement if God of High School really breaks open like it should. So other than that, though, guys, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me to Twitter X25. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.